So what we're going to do is go through this NHL hockey 1990-91. Uh, there are going to be some pretty cool rookies in here. Um, Kevin and I picked up these. We got a lot of four. We did not pay 35, which is what you can see here. But we're going to open them up. Uh, we're going to sleeve up the cards. I want to make sure I have that stuff somewhat ready. So, so we do have these Pokemon ones for now. So maybe we'll just leave it in that and then uh, then we'll make a trade. So let's open these up and let's see what we get. So this is completely sealed. It's got a bit um, of tearing. So technically, you know, they shouldn't have sold it like that. But, you know, we'll go with the flow. Regardless, this is really cool. So here we go. High series 1990 to 91. We are looking for these cards over here. So, um, I just want to be very careful with this. Um, let us know if you guys have been opening up any, you know, old hockey. So that's kind of what we're focusing on right now. So here we go. And we didn't pay a, a lot for these, so... Um, yeah, the goal is really to open these up, find some of the rookies, and then grade them. So right off the bat, this is kind of what we're working with. So... Maybe we'll start with the first bit of the stack here. And we'll go through the players. I'm sure I remember most of them. Man, look at that. We got the Young Gun symbol, which is really cool. So, Gary Valk. And it looks like it's cut way off-centered. So, I'm sure a lot of these will be off-centered. Ken Hodge. And we're going to stop at the good ones. And I see a Sergei Fedorov already. And Pavel Bure. So there's one of the cards we were looking for. That's a really good looking Pavel Bure card. So that's going to be a Pavel Bure Young Gun. We'll just put it in the sleeve for now. Um, it's off-centered. Edges aren't great. But, you know, it's Pavel Bure. Could get an 8. I don't even know if that'll get a 9 to be honest, but... But, you know, we got a Pavel Bure, which is really cool. So we can look up the price of Pavel Bure and compare. It's a really nice card. Very nice. And, of course, the Sergei Fedorov. And this one seems to be cut a touch better. Um, hard to say. But, anyways, like, guys, Sergei Fedorov, Pavel Bure, those are, those are legends, you know, back in the day. So, just letting you know, those are some pretty cool cards. So again, we'll just leave it for now, and then we'll take care of it later. Um, Stephen Martin, Stefan Martin, or Stefan Morin. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we got anything else here. Kit Miller. And, and I'm sorry, I don't know a lot of these players. Um, I just kind of know the, the big names. So this is a Young Guns checklist. So it's kind of cool to go back, though, and it teaches you, you know, what... Um, well, it looks like the goalie's hitting the guy there. I like that. It's a bit of Tim Thomas type of action. Rick, Rick Tabaraki. Donald Audette. And it looks like they flipped them, and then this the right side is cut now, which is interesting. But the reason we're doing this video, too, is we're researching, you know, what is it like, first of all, can you acquire cards from, you know, sealed wax and grade them and make profit? So we're going to be sending some of this into MNT, so for min grading. That's going to be, of course, the Pavel Bure and Fedorov thus far. Um, but if we have any other hits, we'll be doing that as well. But it's nice to see those two. So a nice little Dennis Potvin card. I'm not sure what the value is of that, but I do know that, you know, he's somewhat of a popular player. So for now, we'll just leave. Again, this is just to test and to see because this is what we paid for the box. And then if we could make that with, you know, grading and make a profit, you know, this is something that we could, you know, um, repeat. Um, of course, once we make the video, it's probably not going to happen. So these are the NHL hero cards. Phil Esposito, big time name, guys. Big time name. Bobby Clark. I don't think these cards are popular per se, but some of the players are really good. And for sure, I'm missing some. Um... But I'm just going to Daryl Sittler, big time name. Greg Kelly, I have his autograph. And then a really cool Heroes card. That one looks nice. 
So we'll keep a couple of them off to the side and then we'll we'll go through them. So let's see what else we have. Any other legends? And of course, guys, we're not going to be finding no Connor McJesus in here. He's not going to be in here. Um, and man, these are stacked a little pretty awkwardly, honestly. But uh, Mike Vermont. And man, the, the edges are not good. Edges are not good, and it's definitely off-centered. It's cut off-centered. A Patrick Waugh. I mean, for those of you that don't know, Patrick Waugh is arguably the greatest goaltender of all time. He's one of them. Um, you know, uh, definitely Dominic Hasek was a beauty. And then, of course, Martin Brodeur. He's, he's a legend. So we got an Al McGinnis. Great card. Um, but it's not a rookie. So, again, if you don't have his rookie, it's not going to be the best. Paul Coffey, great name. Steve Larmer, don't know who he is. Checklist, we got some legendary players. But really cool cards. Like, the quality for, you know, this being, you know, 20 years ago, pretty much. Like, like you know, the quality of the cards is pretty amazing when you take into account how long ago this was. And we just got some Zamboni guy there. Brian Fagarti. And if you guys don't know, this used to be a team, the Quebec Nordiques. So one of my favorite players ever, um, Peter Forsberg. Um, he played for Colorado and I'm pretty sure he played for the Nordiques. And you got uh, Hull's 50 goals and 50 games puck. Really cool card. And of course, the great one, Wayne Gretzky. And that's centered quite well. So um, this is going to be, what, his 2,000 point, I assume. And look, look at that. Look at those stats. Not this guy's stats. Gretzky. Look what it says about Gretzky. So let's read the back just to tell you how good Gretzky was at the time. Wayne Gretzky continued to turn the NHL record book into his personal diary by recording the 2000th point of his illustrious career against um, Smite Division's rival Winnipeg, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, the guy's, the guy's a freak. Um... You know, even if he didn't score a goal, he would still be the points leader. And he scored tons of goals. I think Gretzky's points record, it's its never going to be crushed. The only, the only person that can beat his goal record is going to be Ovechkin. That's a beautiful card. You know what? Out of every card, the, this one's nice. And, it's, and it seems to be um, in the best condition of all of them as well. So really cool. I'm, I, I'm loving this experience. I see a Marc Messier over there. Um, Lemieux. Uh, Taco. So we do have the Young Guns though. That's what we're basically looking for. And what we're going to do is we're going to go on eBay and just look up the prices. For sure, I I, I doubt we're even going to get like a PSA 8 or 9. It, it, it might be a 6 or 7. I don't even know. So we got a Peter Bondra. It's going to be a Young Gun. Cool card. We'll have to sleeve that up. Um... Stefan Mateau, Bobby Holik, beautiful card, beautiful card. A Robert Reichel, Rachel, Tim Sweeney, Mark Pedersen. I'm not too familiar with all those, but I know uh, Bobby Holik for sure. So we'll put these off to the junk wax era side. So we still have a lot of cards. This is really, I'm happy we're doing this, and it was. You know, I don't, I don't think we paid more than like 20, 25 bucks for this this box. So we got a Marc Messier, beautiful card. I mean, it's Messier, so can't mess with the mess. John Cullen, and a Chris Chelios, really cool. Big time name back in the day. Joe Sackick, look at that hair. Just flowing. Just flowing. Uh, Ray Bork, I believe he won a cup his last year. The Bruins. Mark Recchi, guys, Recchi, big time name. Brian Leach, no way. And these aren't rookies right now, but the Young Guns, man, Young Guns go way back, eh? Scott Stevens. If you guys have never seen Scott Stevens hit on Paul Korea, legendary. A Jeremy Roenick, beautiful card. Man, and, and, and it gets you thinking, like, there were so many good players back then, and... Steve Eiserman, guys. This is the Detroit, the Detroit King. One of them. Brett Hall. 
great card great card and of course it looks like we have i don't know who these guys are i don't think chris draper eric lindros and stephen rice man lindros has to be that big guy on the right because that guy was an absolute goon he was massive we'll put that off to the side it's a really cool card mike craig carl dickwis dequis i don't know I'm, not, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> David Harlock, Pat Falloon. Um, man, a lot of these cards are are really nice. I, I'm thinking I'm going to save quite a few of them. You know, not even just the Young Gun. So these are World Junior Champions back in the day. Martin Lapointe, Chris Draper, NHL player. Not too sure with him, but oh, I know Scotty Niedemeyer, of course. World Junior Champion, congrats, Scotty. Greg Johnson, doesn't even sound like a hockey player. Felix Potvin, who, I don't know, I've never really cared about. John uh, Slaney. This has got to be a Russian. Savigny. Bread May. Uh, Patrice something. Marshall Jason. Uh, and then a cool, like, uh, Team Canada. So that's interesting. Look at that. See, this is when Team Canada used to win the juniors. Canadian National Junior Team. See, these guys won. We, now we don't win. We, we lose to the U.S. What's going on, eh? Bob Probert, look at look at that. Look at the eye. Just damaged. Just like the card. Cloud Lemieux. And that's not Mario Lemieux relation. Cloud Lemieux compared to Lemieux is like Lonzo Ball to Zion. It's not even close. Jeff Chitram. There's a lot of cards in here. This is cool. Kevin Miller, beautiful Rangers jersey. And I'm hoping there's maybe a couple young guns in here still. Let's kind of go through them a bit quicker. Don't want to keep you all all day. Although the longer you're on here, the more monetization I believe we get. And I love that Scott Stevens. Look at that in the blues. I didn't even know he played for the blues. I'm going to be honest. Beautiful card. Beautiful. Troy Gamble. Looks like he's gambling with the puck. Guy has no idea what he's doing. They take a... Um, sponsor break, so I'm just kidding. We're not sponsored by Timmy's yet, but Tim Hortons. Maybe we'll own a Timmy's one day. I don't know if there are any more young guns, but we'll go through. Looks like a Zadania Sigur. Eric Desjardins. Dennis Savard. The heck? Pete Peters? Come on. The guy's got two first names. Joe Mullen, that sucks. Like if that's your card, like if that was his rookie card, I'd I'd be pissed. Like really, that's gonna be my rookie card? I look like I don't look good in that card. Guy looks all worked up. Chris Chelios, we'll put that off because he's a big time name. And we got a Ray Shepard, Doug Crossman, Randy Muller. Look at this guy. He's got his tongue out. This guy's crazy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at him. Just pushing him into the boards. There you go. See, that's us. Those are the new YouTubers. That's us. I'm just kidding. And then that's it. So that's what we got. Um... Let's go through the highlighted cards. So these ones, let's be honest. These ones I can light on fire. Uh, maybe we'll make another intro. Maybe we'll do that and I'll use it to smoke another cigar. And then these are the highlighted cards. So we got a 2000 point Gretzky card. A nice Patrick Wall All-Stars. Pretty good card. A Dennis Potvin. It's gonna be Heroes NHL. Now these are the cards we're looking for. Sergei Fedorov and Pavel Bure. 
So Sergey Fedorov and Pavel Bure. And what we're going to do is go on eBay and just look at the prices of those cards. So, and then of course in here we have some other decent cards, but we don't need to go through those again. You know, this one sold for a dollar twenty-five. You know, lots sold for this, but we want to look at the PSAs. So PSA ten, I mean one sixty-eight. Of course, they're PW um, C's in the Probstein. Um, but it looks like a nine selling for 15 bucks. Some are probably manipulated. So that's kind of what we're working with right now. Not looking too good on Sergey Fedorov. Um, and of course it would come down to how the card is cut and whatnot. This one is not going to get a 10. There's no way. I would say if we got really lucky, we could get a seven or eight. It's just, it's off centered. And the edges are bad. Let's just look up a seven. Because that we could do, you know? Yeah, so it's not going to be worth it. So this this was a fail on that card. Not good. So let's look up Pavel Bure. Pavel Bure, his young gun. Let's see. His PSA 9 is $43. Not bad. And this card is cut much better. But it, it's not going to be a nine. A nine means the card is like near mint. Um, I would say we maybe have like an eight at most like we probably have a seven like I'm gonna expect like a seven like Yeah, like if we got a nine, you know, we're talking 30 bucks, you know, we make our money back I feel like I could sell both of these cards You know together and make 20 bucks get my money back You know So anyways, that's what we have for this episode um, We tested it we opened up a upper deck 1990 1991 hockey um, vintage box so you know it's kind of fun to do i'm just going to keep another one sealed and uh yeah let me know maybe we'll give it away in the future or maybe we'll open it up again so let us know let us know what else you would like to see us open um of course we searched for lexi which we did not pull however um we are grading a lexi card so let me see here um, so we do have a video on that. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Um, but we do have a couple of Alexi Lafreniere cards. So we got one there. And then oh, we have another one in here somewhere. But this is the, yeah, this is the good one. This is my mom's card. Mine has a little ding on it. This one is, oh. If this card doesn't get a 9.5, I'm going to be, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. So... Let's hope that it does. Let's hope that it gets, uh, let's hope it gets, uh, you know, mint, mint 10. So that'd be amazing. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe. We will see you every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6 p.m. EST.